Thank you for your question. Actually, I see uh, there are several faults to answer your question. The firstly, that for AI and the digital technologies, the, the applications they, they themselves consume lots of energy. Yeah, so we need to find the kind of sustainable ways. Yeah, to for the energy consumption for the digital technology and the AI application by say utilizing more of these uh, renewables, by also find the ways to save this uh, energy consumption. On the other hand, also we should uh, use the digital technology to improve the manufacturing process, including that the monitor, the utilization of this uh, energy in the, in the processing process to optimize this kind of like uh, the, the, the steps in a way could really save energy. Then this is uh, I already, I think there are lots of examples like uh, apply, op, only applied in smart factories, then use the sensors to monitor each every step of this kind of management process, then to find the optimal way that of using this energy. So I think there is great potential for AI and digital technology application in uh, promoting energy efficiency and also utilization of more and more renewables. From a unit side, uh, when we uh, propose or initiate this uh, Global AI Alliance initiatives, we had this I think uh, uh, expectation that this alliance could help us to address the gaps existing between developed and developing countries and within also this group of countries, a different group of uh, economic sectors in the application uh, of digital technologies, including AI. So I think that the main objective of this alliance is to help us out address this digital gap, digital divide. Of course, in this process, we see that this platform will be a platform that foster collaboration and cooperation between North and South and the South and South. I think there are lots of, I think, uh, interest we already received from uh, countries coming from the South, including European countries, also from the emerging markets like BRICS and other LDC countries. They are very interested in and basically joining this platform to learn from each other. Then I think particularly in the field of, say, using digital technology to address climate change. I think during this twin transition or transformation, green and digital, I think these two could really, uh, say, go hand in hand. So for us, this platform will be really, really, I think, a, a relevant uh, kind of instrument for you need to play this like a bridge role that bring on board the experts from private sector, from decision makers, from public sector to discuss issues of common interest, how to mainstream, uh, how to also say have everybody benefit from this kind of digitalization process.